Well, hello and welcome to Australia National University in Canberra, where we've just witnessed the sixth round of the 53rd Dobo Cup. Second seed, Zhao Wei Kui, looks like he's uh, going to be very hard to stop in this tournament. He performed brilliantly in, in beating Kanan Izzat in a game where Izzat played moves that later the computer approved, but the final position, the computer simply didn't understand that Izzat was losing where he resigned. The computer still wanted to play on, but it was just beyond the horizon effect of the computer. We'll see that position in a minute. Uh, this is the game they had. Well, Black can certainly continue playing passively, though Izzat was not terribly happy about his chances, but instead he decided to break out. Izzat played b5, knight a5, knight takes, bishop takes, and here probably the only chance for Black is to swap bishops and play bishop d7. He can hang on, but instead he tried rook b7. It looks awkward, and it turns out after bishop takes knight, Pawn takes, rook takes bishop, rook takes rook, knight c5, black is in total zugzwang. He can only move his pawns and eventually he will have to move his bishop or his king and abandon the rook. Uh, if you put this one into a computer it says plus one for white, very little, and often after black plays b4 uh, it moves the knight away and releases the pressure. But in fact this position is simply winning if white just moves his king back and forth. Black will eventually run out of pawn moves and it's all over. So Zhao Wei Kui moved to five and a half out of six. Half a point behind him were two players. Anton Smirnoff, the 14-year-old from Sydney who beat Australian Grandmaster Daryl Johansson in a fine attacking game. And also uh, Ramachandran Ramesh, the Indian Grandmaster coming back from a seven-year break. He outlasted Gary Lane in a very difficult opposite bishop ending. Uh, it was a disappointing day for top seed Luke Van Welly, held to a draw for the second year in a row by New Zealand's Teenage Luke Lee. Surya Ganguly also moved up with a really hard fought win against James Morris, but uh, it's really Zhao Wei Kui's tournament to lose. He's going to have to take on Ramesh in the next round. It should be great. See you then.